youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Yo, <laughs> Tim Westwood TV, Lisa Matthew in the book, baby. <laughs> Baby, so beautiful to see you. And you. I mean, we've got a lot of great times, like memories of like working together over the years. Yeah, yeah. I particularly, I don't know why, I really remember Ibiza when I used to do a weekly Thursday, Eden. Oh, Eden, and yes, of course. And you used to come course. down to PAs there. Yeah, yeah. So I was seeing you like quite regularly <laughs> yeah. up in there, man. Nine years, I think, yeah, I did that in a row. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've got Pretty a lot awesome. of fond memories of the time when I was there. <laughs> And then also, also, we went to Miami together. We did indeed, the music uh, and conference was time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely, with the whole of Soul Solid. That's right, yeah. It was it was a crazy time because we did the radio show from a hotel. That's right. <laughs> and um, Gosh, uh, your memories are good. <laughs> was, uh, DJ Khaled was co That's right, yeah. And we had uh, Rick Ross. Yeah. Rick Ross, before he had a record out. Or That's he had, right. He had some early joint out on uh, some other random label. So there was an early Rick Ross and there was the king of Miami that time, Trick Daddy. It was. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And you, well, obviously that was a hip hop that. moment for me, man. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mega, you were all there as well, man. It's actually phenomenal because that's the time when I became R&B. Mm. It was the first track, it was the first record I ever released, which was not Garage, you mm. know. It, so was that a turning point? It really was because my solo career was R&B yeah. hip hop. So yeah. it, that was the turning point for me. Exactly. And yeah. then there was also a time when Soul Solid that was going slightly more hip hop as yeah. well. Second album, and yeah. that was that, like the turning there. Yeah, yeah. But like that was a great moment. <laughs> One thing I do remember after that night, yeah. uh, the radio management said it was an open bar. Oh, and wow. the bar came like to forty. <laughs> Never a good idea. I think it came to forty-five thousand dollars. Did we run? Did we run? No, the BBC just got that. Okay. okay. <laughs> it was a great, great experience. Yeah. And no, I've yeah. been, I've done a few radio shows from Miami, but I think that was the highlight. It was a highlight for me, really, because to be taken to Miami, mm. we were garage artists, mm. and to be respected enough by yourself. Um, DJ Khaled, I yeah, can't believe real. it was for DJ Khaled, mm. Khaled, part of the team, part of what we was, mm. we was part of. It's actually quite amazing, and you do, you do, you don't ex respect things as much when you're mm. going through it. It's only when you look back, the memories are just absolutely awful, awesome. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I remember Harvey was there. Yeah. He was smoking this weed, which just made him totally paranoid. Yes. Yeah. He was just like, Who's looking at me? Like, like, yeah, I've, I've seen him paranoid before, but he was turned up. Anyway, let's talk. Let's talk back to like you know those you know day ones in the game and we talked about 2001 when we started is that is that where you started 2001 was is where mm. i started um just 20 years old mm. um introduced to, to soul solid at 13 years old mm. um and jumped on the, my very first record ever ever touched the mic was oh no sentimental things um and from that point on it's an absolute blur because mm. it's literally been success 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 after success and the introduction into the music industry really just started there for me it was never my career choice i wanted to be an architect you know i, yeah. went, I wanted to be a million other things not a musician and i was lucky enough to have a creative bunch of friends that wanted me to be part of it um and i'm so thankful to today yeah. so how did you know mega and everyone how did I, I met them when i was 13 on the mm. estate you mm. know as a kid i grew up in brixton the boys grew up in battersea i had a friend that was dating one of the guys in battersea and that's where i ended up and became friends at 13 years old yeah yeah oh wow <laughs> and so and and when did you and you started at the age of 20 yeah yeah that was when you made that was oh no oh, yeah. oh no was the first record we 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 ever laid and cut ourselves we sold hundreds of thousands of copies out the back of a white van that backfired mm. on the streets of brick lane and brixton and uh, holloway roads all of mm. all the local little vinyl shops and um, we said white we had them on white label we was just shotting them out the back of mm. our vans and it literally we went to ayanapa and the boys jumped on stage they were taking over the stage i was playing a record to anyone that would play it we'd give it to them on vinyl to play and we came back we met someone out there called glenn glenn that's now Universal, I think. Mm -hmm. He was Relentless Records at the right, time. Relentless Records. Yeah. yeah, and he said to us, when you get back, give us a call. We, we may have a, a proposition for you. So it's like, really, what, what's, I mean, what's this? Record deal for mm. real? So we came back and then we, we got our first record deal. It was literally that fast. Wow. And then Sony bought us off of Relentless Records. Um, and then being with, with Sony, that just excelled us to exactly. the heights of 21 so, Seconds and all the rest. So what was the next record? <laughs> the next record was 21 Seconds. Wow. The next record was 21 Seconds and it was, the, it was, it was um, partnered, the Relentless and Sony budgeted for it together yeah. because it was quite a big project. And um, 
Once I was successful, <laughs> that was it. Literally, it's been fast and furious the whole yeah. way. Yeah. The whole way. Now, 21 seconds, an incredible video. Mm. Like Mega bought those, uh, like those bowler hats. The hats. <laughs> yeah. in it. That was our it's trademark. Awesome. TTs Absolutely. and bowler hats. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, probably. TT gang and bowler hats. Yeah, <laughs> crazy out there though. Yeah, and this is a Soul Solid logo. This is this is our symbol. Mm. This is this this chain is original. <laughs> original. This is like, I think, 15 years old. This wow. is my first purchase from my half a million pound record deal. <laughs> I'm still <Excellent>. very proud. <laughs> yeah, baby. Good to spend it on. <laughs> yeah. And like. Then you had all the drama with Soul Solid and the police. Like the fight down was intense. The fight down was crazy. Like it was, you were shut down. Completely shut down after Astoria. Mm. Um, so what, was the, what happened at Astoria? Astoria, we had, I think it was Romeo's birthday bash. And, and that, now that was, that's, the spot's gone, but that was a big spot in the heart of town on the corner. We sold out, exactly. triple. I mean, there was yeah, people, there was 3,000 people exactly. outside. Just on the end of Oxford Street. <laughs> Tottenham Court Road. Yeah. That, the story was the spot, man. Yeah, definitely. Crazy and it, club. And it shut us down. It shut us down. There was, there was just, you know, followers of followers, and there were people. It, just, it wasn't us that told them to come. It was something that happened. And one shooting after another around the surrounding area then spiralled to people, ha something happening inside the, the arena of, of Astoria. And um, the next day, I was all over it. It was my face. <laughs> my luck mm. my face all over the front of every newspaper saying soul study shooting and it spiraled from that from every event they was just shutting us down saying it's you know anything that was happening three miles down the road in another area it was because soul study were on stage in the club mm. so it just it kind of it it was a time it's heartbreaking it really was heartbreaking mm. because had we got the chance to exactly, continue exactly. at that point i think exactly. it would have been twice as big even though yeah. We have just been, we've just been made officially triple platinum. Exactly. So, hey. so I remember going mm. back and, mm. and this was the era of clubs. Okay. There was um, turn mills. Oh, wow. And there was drama at turn mills. Oh, wow. And then you were... Why do you want to go there? Yeah, I just, <laughs> and you were on the front page. Yeah, my nana thought I was dead. <laughs> she, cause it was, I was over every page. Lisa Mafia's event, blood, bloodbath of Lisa Mafia's event. That was awful. That was and then did they name. come and raid your house? Yeah, they did indeed. Yeah, they did. And now, I got that was my first brush with the law. So what happened? Oh, how, how Tim Riley was that? And <laughs> Tim were Wright. they looking for the? Were they looking for your partner at that stage? They were looking for a guy that shot somebody in a in an event, and it was nothing to do with us. And, but hey, and he was in your bed. Yeah, he was my, he was my man. <laughs> Mafia, baby. <laughs> ah, uh, yeah, that, I mean, that was, that was supposed to be just an event. They called yeah, it my launch. Yeah, yeah. It went all wrong. I was sick. I was, I was on tour at the time. I'd, been, I'd done eight shows in five days and I was exhausted. I didn't make it to two shows that night. And it just so happens I was lucky enough to be in my bed tucked up with my man. And, uh, and a, shooting went, a shooting happened and somebody died. And it's it, unfortunate. Again, it was like... Things just seemed to have follow, followed us because we were popular. What, mm. what could anyone expect? We was at every club. So there was going to bound to be something happen at one of the clubs. And unfortunately, they labelled that event my launch party, which it had my record had been out two or three months. So I don't know what they were going on. Yeah. But, but yeah. And, and also, <laughs> just remembering back to that incident, the police also had information that the person who got shot was at risk, but they never warned him. And I think well, they parked, apparently they parked in the newspaper. I remember reading the media do lies. So I can't, re I can't mm. vouch for anything that actually happened. But the police car was parked outside the event because they had a warning about the event, and they never followed through. They yeah. just parked the car, and that's that's where that's where you get like and you get quite pissed exactly. that you know they're gonna exactly. be saying and the yeah. Girl, the guy who was shot yeah. also they knew he was in danger, but they didn't warn exactly. Him. But they didn't warn him, so mm. they blamed Soul Solid and Lisa Mafia mm. instead of actually Horrible. picking up yeah. the pieces. But that's still happening yeah. today, right? Mad story. <laughs> you, you missed out on, you know, all, all that live money, all that performance money. Yeah. So, you know. Well, we kept our money. We're yeah, lucky. We're lucky artists. We didn't yeah. have the 360 deals yeah. that guys have got now. Yeah. We but got that, paid. But, you know, that would be next extra money to do those shows. You could have done the festivals. Like, everyone wanted to see you throughout the country. I mean, mm. these, these were, like, this was the era when records sold. This was the era when, yo, <laughs> the whole UK would have wanted you. It, I mean, we're still in very much demand mm. because just in 2013 and 14, mm. we've done two sellout tours at the mm. O2. Um, it was a comeback. It was a 
a final, it was a, a forgiveness, a sorry uh, concert, two of them. And we sold out tr twice forward. So what do you mean a forgiveness, sorry to Cause, all? Because we let everyone down by being, by being part of an, of an industry of, that was against us by not being able to tour when we were supposed to tour and being shut down by the industry and the media. We didn't ever get to give our fans back. So having those two, two dates at the O2 and selling out was just a thank you for, for forever supporting us, you know, and forever being, having our back and believing in us because till, still today we're selling units like nobody else. Mm. So was it heartbreaking? Was it like, like devastating? Was it's it like devastating. It's was still now devastating. Nothing you can do. One media is to sell a story, it's negativity, right? So we were the highlight of every negative story. So it was heartbreaking because we knew what could we do? There's, give us the strength. We were a bunch of kids, millionaires as well. We, we had a million under our belt, easy. And we had this money, we had this talent, but we couldn't express, we couldn't, we couldn't share because they kept, you know, shutting us down bit mm. by bit. Mm. And, every, and, it, and the label then lose faith in you and that's heartbreaking as well. And then your management don't know how to recover from an incident that might happen. So you do find yourself lost and standing alone only with each other's talent and our friendship and our, we're from the hood, we stick together. We only had each other at that point, but all these people that we relied on to make us successful weren't when you know holding us holding us up and backing us and saying let's work this out let's move forward mm. so it's it was heartbreak it's a heartbreaking journey but also very i'm very thankful because it, it did make so solid who we are today yeah <laughs> so what was the record after 21 seconds record after 21 seconds was ride with us yes that was the night rider sample that we mm. used these guys ain't gonna know what Night Rider is. Right, no, Google. Classic. It's classic at that time. <laughs> classic, though. yeah. Classic, exactly. Classic, yeah. Um, and that went out. Then we had no, we had. They don't know. They don't know was. The they biggest. don't know was the yeah, next one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was the next record. Like and then after that, moment. by then I was signed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you, you like crazy videos all on yeah. TV, record selling crazy. I mean, you had such a look. I remember being. In the studio with Cypher Sounds, this oh, new yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. and Twenty One Seconds came on yeah. for the first time. We, I hadn't seen it. It was like we thought, it, like who he thought it was some American <laughs> artist. Oh, really? Like, yeah, because with, that, with the sound was turned down because in the studio, but the strength of your imagery there, was yeah. incredible. We was creators. Yeah, like, we we create the lifestyle, and I think that's what a lot of artists mm. do lack sometimes. That is, they don't create a whole look. They just have their mic in their hand and the music, which is incredible. They're doing an incredible job, but they don't have nothing to trail behind them for people to follow. We had cars, we had fashion, we had you know, a, a proper whole lifestyle yeah. of cars and the look of what mm. we look like. We had p things that you represented had clothes, yeah, us. You had clothes, uh, clothes designers. And yeah, everything. like we had a lot more that created so and I think, and we did it all without internet. Mm. We had no, <laughs> yeah, this we is didn't have pre. internet. Yeah, this is all pre. So it's all pre-internet and, and it's all, it was all some, I think that's why we are still very much classed as legends and represented really well. We re represented ourselves really well that we're still able to do shows every mm. single year. We're still booked every single year worldwide as well. Yeah. Now, what's important to understand what <laughs> was there before Soul Solid. So before you came along, there was the, the garage scene of like vocal singers yeah. and the garage scene was like a bit like say like Chicago house even like you yeah know, well that's it's, where it's created yeah, right but yeah. I think that garage music was what once what what grime was underground mm. nobody wanted to it to cross over nobody had the commercial edge the lyrics the melody the kind of thing to cross over into the commercial world no one really had that talent to do that. And that's what Soul Solid brought. We brought that different edge and created Absolutely. our own sound of garage. Absolutely. Mm. So you were like using that garage sound, but then like... We became the Soul Solid sound yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. Which Maybe was grime, grime yes. cost with, of yes. garage. Yeah. So that's what, that's what we was able to do. Our videos were, were the, the standard of a well-signed co commercial pop act. We were spending hundred thousand pounds on basic. That was a basic. My my first video for All Over was two hundred and twenty thousand pounds. It was the most expensive video out of the whole of the crew. <laughs> yeah, might as well be. Might as well. But that's what that's the kind of edge that we brought to garage music, and I think that's what helped us to cross over because we had a creative mind and had that outlook of all the records and the artists that we had been following growing up, which wasn't 
British music, it was American music. So we had that kind of influence mm. to make it bigger. You know what I mean? I make, I, I make a stamp, make it make it more account for mm. for your music, you know, your music video. And you were definitely getting a bit of a fight down from those old school garage uh, <laughs> DJs. I remember, yeah. like, when I was out in Napa as well, like, <laughs> yo, I mean, this was the time when Mega Man became the, he was the mayor of Napa. Mm. And like, yo, he was the king of Napa, mate. It, like, he, um, people like Spoonie and those old yeah. school guys yeah. were really, like saying, you know, this isn't music, this is not what you want. And they didn't understand the crossover, I don't Thing. They didn't get it because, as far as they're concerned, they cre they were once the creators of garage music. But we made what I think they failed to realize is that we made our own sound mm. of garage. Mm. We made this new a new wave of garage. So I don't know why they were so yeah. against it. For yeah. me, if they backed us, then they would have probably come with us. But exactly. yeah. <laughs> even though I rate Spoonie, he's yeah, he's it's a diamond. Ray Spoonie, he's a legend. Uh, and he, yeah, yeah right. exactly. But like th those early criticisms. That, that happens though yeah. with every. Everyone, right? Yeah. It, it happened. It, that 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 kind of yeah. hate kind of happens. Yeah. <laughs> because you see, I couldn't mess with garage because I was hip hop, but I could mess with soul. soul. Angry. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't mess with soul. soul. Exactly. Yeah, I, yeah, because I we could, made a new exactly. sound. We made yeah. our own lane. You know, yeah. and yeah. that's it's yeah. original. <laughs> now you're still young, so you are now decided. Like now's the time to come back. Yeah, I mean, garage has come Got full circle. Direct. Exactly, it's come full circle. Exactly, it has a, it has a, it has room for again a brand new, uh, a brand new collaboration of yeah. sounds. Yeah. Um, I won't leave out the grime because I've, I've, I've really been listening to grime for a while now, and I really love grime. Um, Afro beats, mm. Bashman is still elements I'm going to be using and putting yeah. into the garage sound that I'm going to be making. But I'm also going to be touching the Afro beat side Excellent. and the hip hop side for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So like a real <laughs> well-rounded project. Yeah. You must be very proud. Yeah. How, how far in the game are you with it? You, um, I'm 30 tracks deep. Wow. I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep going. Okay. Um, one thing, the beauty of the industry now is that you've got time to test the waters with mm. records. You've got time to do it bit by bit. There's no rush. You can exactly. actually press, you, you can press go and they will tell you what they think of that record yeah. before you've spent your money on yeah, it perfect. and pull it out. So it's a perfect yeah. industry now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect, yeah. You are definitely from that pre internet, old school. the hard school thing, <laughs> yeah. the old school. This hard is a different world, man. It really and is. You, you, you look incredible, you're Thank working you. hard, your energy level's real up there. Yeah. Exciting <laughs> times for you. Very so much. What's the project going to be called? Um, my EP is called Mafia. Right. That's on its way. I'm going to just put that out. That's a free EP for everybody to exactly. get used to me again and, yes. and to just uh, see what they like from me. It's got a whole heap of different mixes on there. It's got some of my um, my original tracks remixed into mm. today's beats so they can have a listen to what I once was onto mm. the fresh beats and see that I sit well. Um, I'm just going to take it easy. Yeah. I'm going to really take it easy. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and that's the way to build. That really is the really way to is. build. And you know, <laughs> It's definitely, you know, you've definitely got a, a lane out there and, and, and make, you can also make that new lane. Look mm -hmm. at Craig David and what he's doing yeah. there, mad. It's, it's, you know what's uh, beautiful of now is that everyone's collaborating. Mm. Back when we started, nobody wanted to collaborate with each other. It was like, yeah, you don't want to share your fans. Mm. But now people understand the beauty of like Americans, they collaborate. Mm. And, that, and that's what's wonderful because there are so, so many talented artists out there now that I'm I, I would love to work with so um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that kind of side yeah. of it as well beautiful <laughs> Tim Westwood TV yo thanks for watching Tim Westwood TV here's a couple of videos I know that you'll love and thanks for all the comments we pay attention and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications it's Tim Westwood TV baby